Welcome to this edition of News at National. I'm Rick Zarr. In many of the products that you design, the signal path is taking a journey that's getting longer and longer. In numerous applications, signals need to be transmitted across the backplane or a cable to an FPGA or a DSP for additional processing, sometimes 10, 15, or more meters away. We see this in applications such as routers, switches, storage area networks, medical imaging, video security, and even home theater applications. And as data sampling speeds and transmission distances continue to increase, you may face problems with transmission losses and errors. As designers, you turn to signal conditioning to solve these problems, using compensation techniques to condition input and output signals, enhancing the performance and extending the signal path distance. Well, National Semiconductor has a new set of LVDS products to solve the problems you face when moving high-frequency data up to 20 meters. The set consists of the DS25BR100, a buffer repeater with transmit pre-emphasis and receive equalization, the DS25BR110, a buffer with receive equalization, and the DS25BR120, a buffer with transmit pre-emphasis. The BR100 and 110 are the industry's first LVDS buffers to offer equalization, and the choice you have between these three devices allows you to choose a solution based on where in the signal path you want to place your signal conditioners. We'll show you how they work in a minute, but all of these products feature 7K ESD protection on the LVDS pins to protect sensitive components, programmable pre-emphasis and equalization, a wide input common mode range that accepts LVDS, CML, and LVPECL, and integrated 100 ohm input and output termination that minimizes insertion and return losses, reducing your component count and minimizing board space. All of these devices provide low jitter, high noise immunity, and low power consumption, and they handle data speeds up to 3.125 gigabits per second, the first LVDS product anywhere to support that data rate. Let me show you how these work. What we have here is a bit pattern generator generating a pseudo-random data pattern at two gigabits per second. The output is an LVDS level signal that goes over these coaxial cables to our driver board. Currently the driver board has pre-emphasis turned off. The output of the driver is split two to one, goes into an adapter board for our category seven wire. There's 15 meters of category seven wire here that returns back to this additional adapter board. The output of one pair in the cable goes to our channel two of our scope, and you can see it right here, how poor the signal looks. This is the output only from the cable. You can see tremendous jitter and a nearly closed eye pattern. The second pair comes out of our adapter board into our receiver. The receiver currently has equalization turned off, and the output of that receiver comes into our channel one of our scope. Here you can see the jitter performance is poor, and the eye pattern is also nearly closed. This processing is only the driver and the receiver. Now by simply turning on pre-emphasis and clearing the display, we can see a dramatic increase in performance on the jitter. The jitter is much lower and our eye pattern has opened up tremendously. Now by adding equalization and clearing the display, we see tremendous performance increase in the jitter and also a beautifully opened eye pattern. And an important advantage with the high performance of these products is that you can rely on less expensive cabling and connectors to go longer distances. You can also do some of these online product simulations with National's Webbench design tool. You can choose the type of device you need, enter the parameters for your product design, see a list of recommended parts, and simulate the transmission and recovery of data. And for even more flexible solutions in signal conditioning, just this month, National announced two new power saver equalizers. The DS38EP100 is designed for data rates from one to five gigabits per second, and the DS80EP100 is designed for speeds from five to 10 gigabits per second. Both of these easy to use equalizers require no power or ground to operate, so they can be designed in anywhere in the data path, even in the middle of a cable. And their symmetric I.O. structure provides equal boost for bidirectional operation. Combine these signal transmission innovations with National Semiconductor's 12-bit and 14-bit high-speed data conversion solutions, and you can design complete signal path solutions that span longer distances while delivering error-free data at high speeds. 
On the bottom right corner of the newsletter, you'll see a number of design resources that can help solve your data transmission challenges, including an excellent article in Signal Path Designer, number 110, and links to the Webbench tool, and an episode of the Analog by Design show with National's own Bob Pease. That's all for this edition of News at National. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.